Well, I watched the Mighty Ducks films when I was younger eh, and I've been playing roller hockey since about five or six years old eh, and then from there I gradually progressed into ice hockey eh, about age nine or ten eh, and then I've just been, I've been playing for five ever since and just really enjoyed it. Obviously it's my home club, I've been coming to watch the games since I was eight years old it was always a dream of mine to play for the Flyers and to be able to, to say I've worked hard and worked my way up through the ranks and finally secured my place in the team, it's, it's a great achievement and it's something I'm really proud, really proud of, really close to my heart. Yeah, yeah, I've been Kirkcaldy my whole life, um, and obviously the Flyers is, is a big cornerstone of the, of the town. Um, so to be able to say I'm a part of that, it's it's really, really proud to be able to say it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a really great achievement. Obviously, there's been growing up with loads of guys that have played hockey, and a lot of them have kind of faded away and not made it to their full potential and just not had the right attitude in many cases and um, so obviously to, to be able to say that I've been able to work hard, work my way up, build up a reputation and, and eventually get picked for the team and obviously to pull on the jersey in front of the, the greatest fans in the league and just give my all for the team every week, it's, it's a dream come true. Also, there's a lot of sacrifice. You know, coming up through the juniors, you're training half six in the morning on a Saturday, half twelve at night on a Friday, and it's just giving up, being disciplined enough to give up your time to, to train and to work hard. Obviously, as you get older, develop, get yourself to grow stronger in the gym, and, and just just putting in the effort and sacrifice to be able to, to get to where you want to be, and to pull on that jersey on a Saturday night in this, in this building, it's, it makes it all worthwhile. It's, it's where everybody wants to be growing up in Kirkcaldy. Uh, obviously my parents are huge, they, they've helped me, they've taken me to games and trainings all over the country and wherever I needed to go and um, so obviously to have the, the backing of your family is it's fundamental, you, can't, you couldn't do it without them and um, so obviously I owe a lot to my parents and um, yeah that's probably the main sort of influence I've had. I think I initially met Todd through doing kind of roller hockey schools and helping him out that way um, and then obviously he was in charge when I got my first call up um, back when it was in the Northern League um, and he's, he's, he's been fantastic to me, he's done, he's worked with me, he's given me chances after chances and it's just, I just try and do my best every night to pay him back and obviously get, getting your first break is the hardest one uh, so for him to have given that to me, I, I'm ever grateful to him, uh, just try and do my best every night. Obviously it's hard, even when you're playing for the national teams and stuff like that, you're having to shell out and pay for training um, every week and it's, it is tough. Obviously there's not a lot of backing from the government or bodies, anything like that, but I think ultimately working up to, to the highest level you can um, and obviously you, you start to see some benefits and all we're trying to do is raise the profile of hockey in Scotland, in the UK and obviously it helped to develop any more youngsters that that are trying to work their way up as well. I think initially I was watching the Mighty Ducks films uh, on the telly. I know that sounds kind of cliche, but um, and then just just got interested in it from there. Obviously, done some research on the internet, found out about the Five Flyers, and I've been coming to watch them ever since. Um, and then obviously pulled on a pair of skates myself and just sort of took it from there. And here we are today playing professional ice hockey. It's, I say it is every kid's dream and yeah, it's just fantastic. I think it's just obviously, it's such a fast, exciting, intense sport. Um, 
I, I played football when I was younger, but I don't know, I just didn't feel the same sort of appreciation for it. I just think it's so much more exciting and, and high octane, if you like. Um, yeah, that's just just really the speed and the, the I don't know how to describe it, the general, just the intensity of it, it's, it's really, really pulled me in. So my favourite player growing up and um, watching ice hockey in the NHL would probably be Danny Heatley. Um, I've always kind of supported the Ottawa Senators and he had a spell at them for a while. Um, so he'd probably be my favourite player. He's a big guy and um, plays hard and he, he puts the puck in the net as well. So yeah, it'd probably be, probably be my kind of role model in hockey. Yeah, we, we train on a Friday, Friday afternoon, evening time. Um, just we kind of don't do anything too technical, just get the legs going, get a good sweat on, get the body ready for, for the game the next day, and then eat sensibly after training on the Friday, and go home obviously, don't go wild on the Friday night, no parties, and get a good sleep, and then just get up, good breakfast, good lunch, make sure you're ready, feeling good, and obviously we come to the rink pretty early, get a stretch, get the legs going on the bike, and then hard warm up and just get yourself ready to go for the game. And we don't want to be slow when the puck drops and we'll get behind straight off the bat. We're trying to obviously start well this year and put, put the pressure on teams, other teams other than us straight off the bat and make them feel under the caution in our building. There's been a few years where I've kind of been quite a bit younger. Um, obviously when you break into the team at first, you're the young guy, you have to kind of pick up the pucks after training, that kind of thing. But uh, all, the, all the guys have been great to me. Um, I've made a lot of good friends um, that I'll stay in touch with for a long time. Um, just really supportive of everybody in the team. Even the new import guys that come in, they're all been great. They're, they're trying to help me out, talk to me in training, see where I can improve, and tell me when I'm doing things well as well. It's always helpful. And yeah, just even the coaches, Stu and Todd, are just trying to develop me and keep me going. Trying to obviously make improvements where it's needed and build on build on positives as well and training all the time. I'm hoping to obviously try and get a bit more ice time under my belt this season and just some so starts working hard in training, showing Stu and Todd obviously what I can do and trying to obviously you don't want to steal ice time off other guys in the team but it's a dog eat dog world you have to it's every man for themselves when it comes to that. So yeah just trying to work hard and break into the team obviously helping whatever way I can whether it's scoring goals, mixing it up in the corners, obviously just whatever it takes. And yeah, anything to help the guys out. Yeah, I've been here once, twice a week at least for the last, I don't know, 15, 10, 15 years. And it's just, it's home. It's a home away from home. There's never, never been another rink that you'll feel this strongly about. Um, skating out here on a Saturday night and hearing the place go wild, it's, it still gives me goosebumps to this day. It's it, the atmosphere just it's not replicated anywhere that I've played. Um, it's just fantastic. Yeah, just really fans are right on your backs the whole time, keeping us going, pushing us on. It's just yeah, it's, it's a great place to play. I think obviously being a local guy, the fans can kind of relate to how difficult it can be to, to play in a league like this with so many imports. And so whenever you do a good job on the shift, they're right behind you, supporting you. And obviously there's probably a lot of guys, young guys in the stands who are playing ice hockey themselves. I've been there, I've been the guy sitting watching in the stands. And so be able to, to have the backing of these the fans going out to play every night, is, it's great. And it mean, means a lot. Obviously, no one goes out with intentions of, of trying to fight. Um, it's, it is a part of the game, but obviously Fife have kind of policy of they don't sign any any meatheads that just go out and try and fight. Um, but obviously, there's times when you have to step in and stand up for your teammates. We're we're all in this together. Um, obviously, if there's a, a more highly skilled guy, an import gets a bad hit, you have to step in and sort of, you know, just back each other up and be there for each other. Um, it's a long season. We have to stick together and uh, with helping each other out and backing each other up, it, it goes a long way to, to building a good atmosphere in the room. I 
Uh, obviously this season we knew it was going to be a lot more competitive for places in the team with new guys coming in. Even we've got the likes of Dolan coming from other Scottish teams, um, so there was more British British competition for places as well. And um, so we really put an emphasis on getting myself fit for the year, and did obviously do a lot of running and uh, being in the gym quite a bit, working out as well. And um, because obviously without without the core fitness and the the, the cardio there, nothing else can happen. You have to be able to skate for, for as long as you're on the ice and you have to be able to go hard for a whole shift and if, if you can't do that it, it detriments your whole game and you're not going to be able to obviously beat a guy up the ice to, to get on the loose puck and score and you can't get back and help out the D. It's just it is your bread and butter. You have to be fit going into the season to be able to develop yourself on the ice and obviously if you the you have to be able to move yourself all the time uh, to get in the right places to implement the systems. It's it is I say it's it's fundamental. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm at uni now, eh, so so I don't see myself going anywhere anytime soon. Eh, obviously, I need to wait and see what happens when I graduate from uni, see where where job opportunities not are. But for now, I'm really happy at Fife. And eh, I love the fans. I love the team. Uh, it's my home team, it's, it's where I want to be and play and make everybody here proud. So, yeah, I'm happy at Fife for now and hopefully many more years to come.